Okay, uh, trick of the day that I figured out for myself. You always know about if you got small stuff, clamp it so it don't kick. Uh, these are Harbor Freight uh, angle uh, magnets or whatever. You set them down. And as you're drilling, watch, watch where all your metal savings are going. You're going right to the magnet, guys. I took this in over and then cooled it off already. Let's set up here so we don't mess the pool table up. The welds ain't perfect. Got a little splatter there. That's why I say I'm still I'm learning. But the weld I did yesterday, that one, I think's pretty good. I welded. Put it up there. I don't got no holes. I turned my speed down to one. I got a little pinholes there. But I'm gonna grind and clean all that up and paint it. But what you wanna do is you see the coloration of that metal? Where it humps up? That cool that's what you want. If you're not getting that right there you can see pinner. I mean, not getting them collars like that, it's not going to hold. I welded, I welded all that. I'm going to tack in here. Or a good weld, but not a full weld. Welded that, welded that. Tack, tack part of that. I'm going to tack in here some, but that will definitely hold. So... That's what I'm doing today, working on my second one. I'm hoping to get it done. If my hip can take it, so. Alright, I didn't have enough metal. Barely. I got enough left here to plate the back of the, uh, the one I just did. And you can see a chunk I cut out. And a piece I cut out yesterday, these foam pieces, one of them was the metal when I cut it. It came out a little too short. It was... It didn't fit. It had too much of a gap for me, so. Uh, I'm going to show you. This is the driver's side. Now, I haven't tested it yet. I just got it all tacked in. Remember, my tacks look like crap. But I don't know if it's going to hit yet. We're going to have to trim it, but that's no problem. It's so close. We know the bottom goes, so I put it right, I put it where the closest is, probably right in there. Oh, that's, let's see, if I can move this. Now I try to hold you still. Yep, just got a nip back. Watch, I ain't no problem. I'll make a little indentation in there. All right. Now I'm gonna try to try to pull this one out. I don't know if this one will come out like the other one. I'm gonna try. I do know I gotta loosen the header back up. I got some splatter on the header, but I don't. That off, clean off. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that one out. Go loosen the header up, and take it out. Then we'll wall, wall it up a little bit. And then if I get it walled up, I might try them without try them motor mounts without the other motor mounts. My motor mounts taking the the uh, Trans Depot motor mounts off. All right.
Okay, I gotta get a wrench here and we're gonna to see if we can get these motor mounts off. If I did everything right to my calculations, I'm gonna tighten this up. If I did everything, like I said, I think it should hold. Should be fine. Because they are truck motor mounts, the rubber part, so we know it's plenty strong enough. Right now I've got two sets of motor mounts holding it up. The ones I made and these ones I don't like. So let's see if we can get rid of the ones I don't like. I do not know what's gonna happen. That's well, why I'm in front of the car for one, but... There's one. They're done. That's loose. That's loose, guys. This one's tight. Now drop uh, my wrench. My wrench. I'm going to take all this out. Set this inside. Still recording? Yep. I'm going to take a set one out. Load it. Look how much better it looks to me. Now that's my, just my opinion. Now I'll take these off, and get rid grind these welds off, and get rid of these pieces. But they cleaned up this, and look, I'm really wrenching on that. They still, they still gotta be cleaned up and shaped and stuff a little better and ground and. Uh, the pieces on the back still got to be welded. But guys, I think that did it. I like it. And the only person that's going to like it is me because it's mine, right? Still got clean, uh, clear for this header over here. Cut that, or or beat that in down here. I'll show you. Let me just make sure I don't touch any buttons. I'll make sure the mic's doing. Yep, that, this thing needs mic batteries. Right. I still got clear right here. Just beat that or cut it. I can make some pie cut, a couple. Like cut there, whatever, tap, beat it in, and then weld it back. But there's my motor mounts, guys. And it's holding the motor. Let me go show you the other side, then I'll show you the front. They're also it's identical to them, like them Dawn Hardies that I'm getting too. I'm trying to get. But if I don't. 
it ain't ain't no big deal. Sorry about that. Was it? Uh, hit the button. Trying to get a good look at it. There it is. Clean them up and paint them up. And it'll work perfect. And this head over here is clearing just barely, but it is clearing. It's got about an eighth of an inch, and get that on that side, we'll be good. See, it's all nice done. So, let me clean up and I'll get back with you. Okay, got it all cleaned up out there. Flip it around so you, I can see what I'm saying. Try to get a light. It's all... It's all done out there. Uh, freaking can't get a light. Vega's all, all done. The motor mounts are... The mock-up is complete. But it still needs some the fine-tuning, finishing and a plate on the back like I was showing you welding and stuff like that and then smooth them up and paint them whatever but they're on their own weight so if you, if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down at least you watch one please subscribe definitely please subscribe today today's my birthday ha ah, but it truly it is but please subscribe and I'll catch you later